Okay, so if you're not quite sure how to solve this algebra problem, well, no worries. I'm going to fully explain the solution in just one second. But uh, let's take a look at this problem. We have the square root of x to the sixth power divided by the square root of x squared. All right, now, if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy to understand way to learn math, well then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, here is our problem. So the square root of x to the 6 divided by the square root of x squared. What is the answer? Well, the correct solution is x squared. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely got a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I am a bit confused. What's going on here? Well, this is not that difficult. So let's go and get into the solution. And I'm going to kind of keep this nice and basic. So in other words, um, I'm going to kind of go through a lot of properties that you need to know especially if you are learning algebra. And I'm going to kind of be going through this uh, somewhat quickly uh, just because I don't want to make this video too long. But if you need additional help in algebra, check out my full main algebra course. Uh, actually, I have a couple different courses. You can find links to all those in the description of this video, right? So if you're in pre-algebra, you can go to that course, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, pre-algebra, etc., etc. All right, so here is our problem. Now, in any algebra course, uh, the kind of topic here is not just square roots, right? What we're talking about here is something called a radical, right? So you want to look in your course, uh, your textbook and whatnot, and look for a chapter or unit called radical expressions, okay? So that's what we're really talking about. And when you study square roots and radicals, there is a lot of properties that you need to know. So just a real quick question here. Uh, what is the square root of 4, right? Well, hopefully you're like, hey, Mr. T2 Math Man, that's 2, because 2 times 2, well, that's a terrible 2. I could do better than that. 2 times 2 is 4. But again, this is a square root uh, symbol, right? But what about the cube root of 8? So now we're talking about something other than the square root. Well, that is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. All right, so once again, we are talking about radicals here. Now, another thing is that there is more than one approach to solve this problem. So if you got the right answer and you took a different path than what I'm going to show you, no big deal. Uh, the kind of the main idea is that uh, as long as you're using uh, the correct properties involved, there's, again, more than one way to do this problem. Okay, so let's go and get into it right now. So the first thing that I am going to do is suggest that we take this problem and express it as a fraction. In other words, we have this thing divided by this thing. Well, this is really like the numerator, and this is like the denominator of a fraction, right? So here, this is the square root of x to the sixth divided by the square root of x squared. Now, the reason why I want to express it in this manner is because we have a nice property of radicals that we can use here. So if you have the square root in a numerator and the square root down in the denominator of a fraction, you can just write one big square root over the entire fraction just like this. So if you have a problem like this, you can express it this way and vice versa, right? So if you have individual square roots, you can write, you can write one big square root. If you have one big square root, you can break it up into individual square roots. Now I'm going kind of quick here because again, I'm going to be uh, talking about a lot of different properties that again, you need to use in algebra, but I think most people, you know, kind of see what's going on here. All right, so we, again, we can write this fraction as one big square root. Now, the reason why I want to do this is because I want to simplify x to the sixth divided by x squared. Now, even if you didn't know the properties of powers and exponents to do this, you could just kind of use some common sense. In other words, here is x to the sixth divided by x squared. So what does x to the 6 mean? Well, mean, excuse me. It means take x and multiply it by itself six times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's x to the 6. And x squared is just take x and multiply it by itself twice. So now we can cross-cancel 1x for uh, 1x in the numerator to 1x in the denominator. And you can see when we do this, we cross-cancel all of our x's. We're left with 4x's in the numerator 
which is x to the fourth, okay? So x to the sixth divided by x squared is equal to x to the fourth. Now, for those of you that uh, know properties of uh, uh, powers and exponents, you'll be able to say, MS22 math, man, don't we need to uh, subtract the exponents here because we have a division of powers? Indeed, as long as you have the bases are the same, uh, what we could do here, and we're dividing uh, powers, we simply subtract uh, the exponents, right? We start with the numerator first, so that's going to be 6 minus 2. So x to the 6 minus 2, of course, is x to the 4th, or x, uh, well, x to the 4th power, right? Which is the same thing we got over here. Okay, so we are kind of whittling this problem down. We're almost there. So here is our problem. We have the square root of x to the 6 over x squared. And uh, now we know that that is equal to the square root of x to the 4th power. Okay, so x to the 4th power, what is this equal to? Well, x to the 4th power, we can think of this as x times x times x times x. But uh, let's kind of look at it this way. So x to the 4th means x times itself 4 times, but also means x times x, which is what? x squared times another x times x, which is x squared. So really, x to the 4th, is x squared times x squared. So this problem is the square root of x squared times x squared, and the answer is going to be x squared. So in other words, any time you are taking the square root of a uh, something being squared, like the square root of x squared, the answer is x. Let me show you a few more examples here so you can understand this. So if I have x plus y squared, and I take the square root of x plus y squared, the answer is going to be whatever is being squared. Okay, so in other words, uh, the answer here is what? Well, x plus y squared, I want to take the square root of that. So the answer is x plus y, all right? That is the answer. Because x plus y squared is what? Well, x plus y squared is x plus y times x plus y. And if we're taking the square root of that, well, the answer is just going to be one of uh, these x plus y's. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's take another look at, uh, at uh, an example with numbers. So the square root of 4 is 2, all right? No big deal. We understand that. But let's think of 4 as 2 squared, all right? So the square root of 2 squared is 2. Square root of 4 is 2. Okay, so the answer here is x squared. And if you still need some kind of like reinforcing of this concept, you can kind of replace a number with these x's. So 2 to the 4th, this is 16, right? So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So the square root of 16 is 4, all right? So again, we can kind of break this up as the square root of 2 squared times 2 squared, or 4 times 4. Again, the answer is 4. Now, there's another uh, kind of approach that we can take, and uh, I'm not going to get too heavily into it. But for those of you that understand that taking the square root of a number is the same thing as taking this number or a variable to the one half power, we can actually think of the problem this way. X to the fourth or the square root of X to the fourth is the same thing as X to the fourth to the one half. Now we have a property where we have an outside exponent to an inside exponent like this. We could just simply multiply the outside exponent to the inside exponent. So four times one half is two. So voila, there is our answer X squared. Okay, so hopefully this little uh, solution or walkthrough was enough to at least kind of, you know, get your bearings with these type of problems, but certainly you're going to need a lot more instruction. But if this little video helps you out, well, please consider subscribing. That really does help me out big time on YouTube. And again, if you need full instruction in algebra, check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to those in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.